Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to the YouTube channel of JJ Prime Reviews. So today, we will be taking a look at the Transformers Robots in Disguise 2015 Legion Class Underbite. So, let's get down to the review table and see what the big deal is for this little figure. So let's get it on, man. Let's go. And here is Underbite fully transformed into his little tiny Cybertronian vehicle mode. And uh, yeah, looks quite, quite accurate to the vehicle that we have seen in the show. Looks pretty good. I mean, he has some nice rolling wheels, so he can definitely roll. Pretty cool. Hey, I like that. So you do have some nice black paint on the front of the vehicle. You got a little, a little bit of red paint right here for these headlights. <laughs> um, so yeah, got a little bit of silver for his uh, little claws that are visible in vehicle mode. And you do have the scanning badge right there, the Decepticon symbol. So if you still have the game, the app, go ahead and free scan on my screen. Go ahead, do it. Yay. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's not much to it. I mean, you know, the plastic has some nice uh, metal flake finish, and I do quite like that. But yeah, there's, there's nothing much to the figure. And uh, yeah, you do have the visible head right there. Hi, how are you doing? My name is Underbite. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so now let us bring in some size comparisons. Here is Underbite compared with the little tiny Legion class spring load. With the Legion class clamp down, with the little Legion class ground buster or ground pounder, whatever you want to call him, and last but not least, with the Legion class Autobot mini card, fix it. So let's get it. Uh, blah, 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 blah. My tongue stopped working. So that is pretty much it for the ultimate comparisons. Okay, I think that is pretty much it for Underbite's little vehicle mode. Looks pretty good, I, I will say. Looks pretty cool. It's a Cybertronian vehicle. There you go. Makes sense. <laughs> so, yeah, pretty cool. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I really like this vehicle mode. So, uh, I think it's time to transform Underbite into his um, robot mode, I guess. I mean, it, it, he transforms to a, to a dog or something. <laughs> So I guess we shall do that right now. So you want to unclip the legs right here, unclip the legs and just bring them out. And this is on a double hinge, just bring this forward and just rotate the legs back just like so. And it will clip into place. So now just rotate it back and just bring this forward. That will click into place. And there you have the hind legs all done and ready so it's very very easy easy peasy lemon squeezy so just flip out his head and there you go now just bring down his front legs right now just bring down his front legs rotate this 180 rotate this 180 and there you go so after you've done all of that there you have mr underbites fully transformed into his uh, Beast, robot beast mode, I guess. I have no idea what mode this is. So I'm just gonna call it a Chompazoid robot mode. There we go, because he's a Chompazoid, you know? Uh, the history of Underbite, well, Underbite is a Chompazoid and he eats metal to uh, to stay strong, you know, to, to improve his strength. But if he doesn't eat the metal, then his strength weakens and he will, um, yeah, <laughs> he will get beaten by the Autobots very, very easily, so yeah. But it's a pretty cool uh, design for Underbite, I will say. He's pretty cute. <laughs> He's pretty adorable. Yeah. So let's get closer. Should we take a look at that head sculpt of his? Nice paintwork right there. Nice black and some silver and some red for the eyes. Got red right here as well. Yeah, I got a little silver paint on the, the claws right there. But yeah, really, really nicely done. I will say so myself. Pretty nicely molded. Yeah, pretty accurate to the to the show. Uh, unfortunately, he did not get a warrior class treatment. Hmm. I was wondering whether they would do a better version of Underbite, but a this is the better version of Underbite. You know, this is the only one that has more steps than the one step changer. <laughs> yes, there is a one step changer Underbite, and I never knew that this would exist. So, 
yeah. So when I saw this on the shelf, I decided to, you know what, just grab it because it's underbite, you know? I wanted, I wanted a representation of the character and I finally got it, so... Yeah, this is the only representation of underbite I would get, so... Yeah. Now, articulation uh, in this mode, uh, the head can actually move down, you know, you can actually move up and down. Uh, this front leg right here can actually rotate around, you can actually use this swivel right here, you can rotate it around, and you can actually rotate the hind legs back and forth. You could, you know, unclip this section right here and just bring this out if you want to. Hey, it's a thing you can do but it's supposed to keep locked into place and that's pretty much it for articulation. There's, there's, not, there's nothing much to it. <laughs> there's nothing much to this figure, so yeah, anyway. So now, let us bring in a couple of, uh, blah, 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 not couple, let's bring in some size comparisons. Here he is underbite compared with Legion class spring load, Frogman himself, with the little Legion class ground buster, with the little Legion class clamp down, and just because with the Little Legion class Autobot Minicon fixes. So that is pretty much it for the Robot Mode comparisons. Okay, so here are my final thoughts on the Transformers R.I.D. 2015 Legion class Underbite. And yeah, it's a really cool figure in my opinion. Um, despite being a Legion class figure, I think it's nicely done, you know, the... the the robot mode <laughs> looks pretty good, you know. It looks quite screen accurate to the one to the design in the show. Um, apparently, the size doesn't do it justice, but hey, it is what it is. Vehicle mode looks pretty good, I will say. You know, it's pretty screen accurate to the one in the show. So yeah, the purple plastic I really like the the purple plastic that they use. The nice metal flake finish and the paint is here and there. You know, you know, you get paint on the head sculpt and the, uh, the silver silver feet but hey you know I think the paint is there uh, articulation is not that great <laughs> articulation is not that great you know and yeah he barely moves but yeah I mean you can't really pose him so yeah that's all you can do with this figure but yeah overall it's an enjoyable figure to mess with because the transformation is really really smooth so yeah and uh, yeah if I were to rank this guy from a scale of 1 to 5 I think I would just give him a good 4 out of 5. So yeah, definitely need some more articulation, but you know, with the Legion class figure, I'm gonna give it a pass, you know, 4 out of 5. It's it's a nicely done figure, fun figure to mess with as well, so. And I think that's pretty much it for today's video review. It's a short one, so... Ladies and gentlemen, if you're completely new to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. And while you're at it, click that notification bell icon down below as well, so that you know when my new videos are up and ready. And if you are interested, you can always check out my Transformers R.I.D. 2015 Reviews playlist for any videos you may have missed, so I'll post a link to that playlist down in the description down below. Wait, let's try it again. <laughs> I'm gonna put the link to that playlist in the description down below. And for your other Transformers needs like Siege, Earthrise, Cyberverse, or Kingdom, or whatever, eh, Studio Series, whatever you wanna get, you can always check out BigBadToysTube.com for any availability for those figures. So I'll post the link to that website in the description down below as well. So, and I think that's pretty much it for me to say. So they have the Transformers robots in disguise. Transformers Robots in Disguise 2015 Legion Class Underbite. And this is JJ Prime signing off. Peace out.